All right, so this is just going to be a quick video showing how to open up and disassemble this Lossier drive. Um, the USB-C port was damaged, so basically you just get this rubber piece off, just like this. All right, the model of this is LRD0TU6, so it's right there, LRD0TU6. All right, so anyways, we're going to get this thing apart by removing the screws on the bottom. Uh, you just use the JAS1 screwdriver. Um, I don't have my screen thing on right now, so I can't really see what I'm recording, but hopefully this is good angle and good view. Okay, there's four screws here. Very simple to get this thing apart. Technically, if Lossier sold or gave or allowed people to purchase replacement USB-C boards for this, it'd be really easy to repair, but here you go. You just slide that out just like that. Okay, boxes just like that, empty. Then the four screws were going through there to hold the drive in. To remove the drive, I usually just get right here. There's a little gap and then I pull it just like this. So you wanna be careful because you don't want it to fly, but there you go. And there you go, it's a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. The only thing with this is it's super thick, as you can see, this isn't a standard SATA drive. Normally they're about 9.5 millimeters um, thick or so, I believe, or 7.2, somewhere around there. But this thing is much larger. This is probably, um, yeah, it's over a centimeter for sure. Um, anyways, you have two screws here. If you want, you could easily take those two screws out, pop this whole board out, and get a new one and swap it, but they don't sell these. So what I did, I got a USB SATA adapter thing, and then I just connected this and plugged it into the computer, and it looks like it's working just fine. So you can use that. The other option, you can get like an enclosure. Um, let me show you. So something like this, they have a lot of different kinds. If you were to use something like this, you want to make sure it's something where the entire cover comes off so that way you have access to this. Then you have this little board there. If you want, you can get the drive, you can slide that in, and then you have the drive like this, but again, you have nothing to really cover this because this is way too thick, as you can see. So if you do want, if you're careful with this drive, you could technically wrap some tape or something to hold it in place. Make sure you don't cover this little hole because that's um, kind of like a breathe hole. And if you cover this uh, hole, then the drive is gonna like overheat and get destroyed. So you can put like a little piece of tape, maybe wrap it from here to here, just to keep it from flopping around. At least then the circuit board on the bottom is protected. And then, I don't know, you can maybe get the rubber piece and put it around it like this, okay? Um, but then if you do that, you wanna make sure that the port lines up. As you can see, this one doesn't line up. Um, but you can somewhat pull this over to the side and plug it in. So you can do something like that if you really wanted to, okay? Um, but I think if you pull the port over like that, you're gonna end up damaging it. Um, and also you have this exposed, so if you hit it, then it can break. So, yeah, you can try contacting Lossier, see if they will send you um, a replacement board. Tell them it's very easy to open. You can do it yourself. You just need to get the right kind. Maybe they'll need the model number or your serial number to confirm which model you have, verify which model you have. And then, yeah, but basically there's lots of ways you can use that drive to still access your data and everything. Um, if for some reason the drive's dead, then you have to send it for data recovery. I think Lossier sometimes has some good data recovery options for you. Um, otherwise, I know a company that will do it for about like 400 bucks or so. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and put this drive back. Very simple. Just slide it back in. All right. I took this little board out, but you can't really do anything with it. So the USB-C port, it goes straight down. I don't know how you would replace that if you needed to. Um, but anyways, once you get that back in, just slide this back on. Very simple. And then put the four screws and then put the rubber piece back on. Um, but yeah, very nice, simple design for this. It's only sad that they don't make it easy to get um, a new replacement part and also that it's much thicker than normal so you can't easily just swap um, the housing um, because there's so many uh, USB uh, SATA to USB-C adapters that you can use. The adapter, you don't need to use a USB-C one. Um, as you saw, I used a regular USB-3 adapter and it worked just fine. But anyways, then we just get this piece to put it back in. Um, I don't know if there's a specific side, but I make this so that the Lossier is on uh, facing up. 
just get that in get that in okay and then pull this over pretty simple straightforward and there you go the drive is reassembled again i don't know if you can get a replacement thing for that um technically if you get another lossier enclosure you can find maybe a used one that maybe somebody dropped it really hard and the internal drive is broken as long as this piece is okay you can swap the, the case but that's pretty much it hopefully this video helped you guys out uh, if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider um, contributing a little to the channel or um, just watching a few of my other videos and liking, commenting, subscribing, whatever. Um, that will help the algorithm know to share my channel. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this bike.